Welcome to the Greek island of Crete. So today's vlog is going to be different because today I'm going to be showing you some hotels and what the beach looks like in one of the villages called Platanias. But something with the Greek islands is that all the villages or most of them don't even look like a village where someone is from where someone comes from because they all look like resort because they are filled with hotels restaurants bars fun places beautiful beach uh, you know every fun stuff you're looking for so if crete is one of the island you're going and you're going to hania area platanias and all of that today we are showing you the beach of platanias and some of the hotels now trust me Platanias does not look like someone's village. It looks like a resort. It is full, like filled with beautiful, beautiful five-star hotels. Well, you can also find two, three stars, depending on like what, depending on your budget. Okay, if you have a lot of money to spend, Platanias is the place for you. And even if you don't have a lot of money to spend, you're also going to find all those studio apartments, Airbnb, and everything. Okay even if you're a student. So let's go to the beach today. Actually, I'm going to the beach in the evening. So lots of persons at this point have already left. So you see empty bed, you see people packing up and all of that. But leave me a comment down below if you want to see the beach when it is filled with people, okay? Because the weather in Greece is so hot that everybody wants to be at the beach or at the poolside. And trust me, the hotels are just amazing. And if you want to see more like hotels and bars and restaurants and stuff like that in Aya Marina, Platanias, Yerani, Malame and all those areas, just leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to turn on notification because that's the only way you can support the channel or your super chatting or sending a join our membership and all of that. But anyways, that being said everybody comes with their own different settings so when you're in the beach in platanias you will see different settings and you have you choose what you like what you prefer you swim you're hungry you want to eat something platanias is the place for you because you can get seafood good drinks if you're if you're a drinker you love good wine traditional wine and all of that it is all available and each of the beach bars always have their djs that is giving you good music and the wind in as much as greece is so hot okay sometimes we're talking about 40 degrees 43 degrees and counting okay so, but the beautiful thing is the island there's a lot of wind so with that hot sun and the good breeze blowing through you would just love to just relax on your sunbed if you're the reading type that you go to the beach, you swim a little bit, you just relax, you read, or you just want to lay down and sun tan, which is what numerous people do. They just want to lay down and get tan. Mostly those people that are traveling from countries where they hardly get enough sun. Greece is the place for you to get all the vitamin D you need from the sun. We're talking about natural, not the one you go to a pharmacy and all of that to purchase. We're talking about natural, nature, nature, nature at its finest. Nature at its best. Trust me, this is not even a psych. Platanias does not. I will keep saying it in this, vi in, in this video. Platanias definitely does not look like someone's village. It looks like a beautiful high-class resort, okay, with high class hotels and all of that and you will see a glimpse of it in this video but if you still you're still in a doubt like should i book my my um stay in platanias and all of that let me know because i can show you just let me know what your budget range is and let me know the type of hotels you want to see and i can show you from the highest class of hotels in platanias to the lowest and when i mean the lowest i'm talking about price wise because they are all beautiful they all look good but you know what you know like some persons are the bourgeois want to do bourgeois things and if that's what you're looking forward to then i can actually pick out those type of where you're getting thousands and thousands per night in a hotel to where you just pay few euros for a night so everything is available in platanias same with the food the rest the food restaurants is super super affordable you get a huge plate that's one thing with the greek uh, restaurants you get a huge plate of meal that sometimes you're struggling to finish it except you're someone with a huge appetite and even if you have a huge appetite that is still going to fill you up and then if you're someone that you don't have huge appetite you will struggle to finish a plate of food and it, it is so affordable 
something else I want to add about the Greek food is most of the restaurants are family owned businesses that they've been running for many years. Okay, some of them are passed down from parents to their kids. So it's like a generational thing. So they take it very serious. One thing you get to know about the Greeks is they love when you say something good about them other than when you have bad reports to give about them. So they give their best in their services and everything. So we're talking about foods that are coming from the farm straight to the port and to your table. A lot of these people have their own stuffs going on, so they're bringing from their farms animals that they, you know, breed by themselves and all of that. We're talking about that are force feed and giving all these fake things to grow overnight. We're talking about proper due process and all of that. It is available to you in Platanias. Now, nightlife in Platanias also, if you're the type that you want to step out in the night, they have night bars where you can go for karaoke if that's your thing or you just want to dance and boogie down a little bit they also have bars like that you want to sit down you're a football fan you want to dress up with the favorite like your favorite football team uh, uh jersey and then go watch football where you will find people like that that are watching yeah, like you know people that are the same fan of uh your club you will find that because a lot of the tourists they travel with their football where and when they're playing all this game you see lots of people just going up and down in platanias wearing different jerseys different colors or if their country is playing a game against other countries they just dress and they go and you have a lot of sports bar like that where you just sit down with other tourists and you can actually bond and um, have fun watching football together laugh out loud and security in greece is really good in the islands i would say mainland <clears throat> But anyways, we're talking about islands. The island security is good, so you can stay out till late and you still find taxis that can take you back to your hotel. If it's a walking distance, you're able to walk from the bar, the restaurant, for wh wherever you are, and nobody's going to harass you and you're, you're not afraid of someone snatching your purse or those kind of stuff. So, of course, Platanias is very, very safe and they take their security seriously, so you don't even have to worry about that. What else do I have to tell you? Okay, so the sun in Greece, the sun is up until 8 p.m. It's still very hot. So even if you were busy throughout the day for going for sightseeing and other stuff and you want to go in the evening to the beach to swim, you can actually go there and you will find uh, some sun beds because some of, the bar, some of the beach bars, they stay up late because they have DJs, they play music. So if you want to swim, you still will find, but you still can spread your towel in the sand and just enjoy that evening sunset. And it's so beautiful. The way the village Platanias is positioned, the sunset is amazing. And something else I will add is most of the hotels and restaurants are positioned or are built in a way that when the sun is setting, you can just come out in your balcony and you will just receive the sun set. You see it over the Mediterranean Sea and just it is so beautiful. I don't even know. I don't have words to describe Platanias to you. Either you're in the up Platanias because they have the up Platanias, which is like the old village. Uh, and then they have the down Platanias, which is closer to the beach. But even if you're in down Platanias, you will still have a beautiful sunset. Even if you're in up Platanias, beautiful sunset set looking over the horizon the mediterranean sea and all of that so Pl platanias indeed is a beautiful beautiful place so if you've been to platanias before and you're watching this video comment down below and let me know if you've been to platanias and comment and tell me where you stayed when you were in platanias let's keep it conversational let's keep it let's keep talking and if you want to see more let me know in the comment section also, all right, that being said, what else do I want to add about Platanias? Okay, if, there's, if you want to see just hotels, okay, and restaurants, I can actually get that video for you. So just comment below and let me know what you want to see. Or let me know which of the town you want to see next, their beach, their uh, restaurants, their hotels. Is it Aya Marina? Is it uh, Stalos? Anyway, Hanya, the old harbor in Hanya, wherever you want to see, let me know. You want to go to Aya Marina, Yerani, Malamet, Avronitis, uh, Kolibari, and more. There's just so many places to go. And so, and all of these areas I mentioned, they are in a good 
uh, they are situated in a good area that you can easily get a transportation to go to some of the most beautiful beaches in the world okay trust me Greece has some of the most beautiful beaches and some of them are right here in this island Crete namely I'll just give you two or three names the Elaphone Sea the white and pink sand beach super super gorgeous super beautiful one mini award uh, Falasana also white and pink uh, sand beach beautiful lots are going on there you can watch my other videos where i talked about falasana beach and the nude beaches you can find and all of that the fun stuff going on there and then also they have balos uh grand Vusa. They, have to, they have um ships that are going so you can actually book and join them to go along so here this is one of the reasons why I told you that Platanias doesn't look like someone's village because it's like you don't see a house like a house house. Like everything you see is hotel, restaurant, hotel, restaurant, hotel, restaurant. That's how it looks. Okay, so this is one of the streets in Platanias. And trust me, all the streets in the village looks like this. Filled with hotels, 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 bars, restaurants, and stuff like that. Okay, I, I, I might say that Platanias has more hotels okay than anything else okay more more hotels apartments airbnb and stuff like that and when i mean hotels i'm not just talking little hotels i'm talking about five stars and all of that like the options is just too numerous okay you have a lot a lot a lot a lot to choose from so i was passing through this street i decided i would just show you what the street looks like how it's filled with different hotels and all of that and if you look at it it just looks like what what is this is this just one big street of a hotel but no these are different hotels owned by different people but they all they look like they're all stuck together but if you look at the names you will see that uh they're different and all of that and also supermarkets mini supermarkets where you can just come out and grab some stuffs okay uh that you need for shopping and everything you need is available to you you don't have to travel far you don't have to really go out of platanias to go get some special stuff that you might need they have the big supermarkets also like little like uh sinka and all of that where you can actually go do your huge purchase if you want but if you're just trying to buy small things there are numerous mini supermarkets in platanias as you can see the tourists going up and down the elderly it is super super safe for everyone so that's that's another beauty of greece because you're still at, uh, okay with the going out at night even if it's late maybe you're hungry you can just come out from your hotel if you're not eat, you don't want to eat hotel food you just want to try something out there you can still go out walk around do whatever you want to do and just walk back to your hotel and you know that your safety is still guaranteed okay so uh that being said that will be all for this video okay if you enjoy this video and you want to see more like the main street right now i just w pulled up to the main street this is what the main street in platanias looks like and um if you want to see video of the main streets and the restaurants, hotels, fast, fast food joints that are on the main street, let me know, drop a comment and that you will see. If you want to see Platanias at night because it's super busy at night, let me know. That being said, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Subscribe.